Here we have a bowling ball. Eh, you probably won't find this in the Flynn catalog. So you're going to have to resort to extra credit. Mention that to your class. Bowling ball, extra credit. One will show up the next day. This one says Omega Lanes. All right. Now we've got a bowling ball hanging right here that I drilled a hole in. If you believe, and this is Jeff, he's from Iowa. Um, if you believe in the conservation of energy, and if I move this a little bit this way and let go, it will swing back and forth forever. If this were friction free, okay? Unfortunately, it's not friction free, so eventually it will damp itself out slowly over time. By the way, those of you teaching, this is a good technique for your class. Watch the bowling ball. Watch conservation of energy. Do you, and you could give them the concept, and they'll remember it. They'll be hypnotized into remembering it. Okay. And Jeff, do you believe in Iowa, the conservation of energy? I believe. Jeff's a believer. As we're going to make you with this. Because if Jeff puts this up to his chin, and now there's a couple of techniques here that we should probably tell you. One, people have a tendency to let go. And when they let go, the bowling ball in theory, I think you get that, will come back. Because of the conservation of energy, it'll come back to the same spot. And because there's a small amount of friction, it'll actually stop a little bit short. Unless Jeff does one of two things. People have a tendency to give a little push to get it started. Not a good thing, Wilbur. And the second thing they tend to do is lean in. That's not a good thing, because you'll lose those teeth. Okay, Jeff, the bowling ball's in your court, as they say. I still believe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he is a believer. He is a believer. Conservation of energy, hang it from your ceiling. Try it. Thank, Thank you, you, sir.